in order to fully meet the requirements of crop growth and development on water and avoid harm caused by too much or too little water, it is necessary to constantly regulate and control soil water during crop growth. Next, we will learn the main content of this course, the regulation of soil moisture. The regulation of soil moisture should be based on the principle of balance of income and expenditure. Areas with large evaporation and low precipitation must be supplemented by irrigation. Pay attention to the drainage in areas with more precipitation and less evaporation. Where runoff is greater than infiltration soil, erosion should be prevented. Soil moisture control measures mainly include do a good job in farmland capital construction, reasonable irrigation and drainage, timely tillage and soil moisture conservation, make appropriate coverage, improve soil texture, adding organic fertilizer, etc. 1. Do a good job in farmland capital construction. Farmland capital construction includes rational planning and construction of farmland, irrigation and drainage canal system, road network, shelter belt, etc. 2. Reasonable irrigation and drainage. Irrigation is an important measure to increase the water content of farmland. Irrigation methods include food irrigation, border irrigation, sprinkler irrigation, and drip irrigation. Pay attention to water-saving irrigation, reduce canal leakage and evaporation, and introduce new water-saving irrigation technology. At the same time, irrigation should be carried out according to the physiological needs of plants to reduce the waste of water resources. Farmland drainage can be divided into three categories, removing groundwater, lowering groundwater level, and removing stagnant water in surface soil. Different areas should adopt corresponding drainage methods according to the actual production. At the same time, drainage requirements can relieve water logging damage. 3. Tillage measures such as soil moisture conservation. Plowing, intertillage, suppression, etc. can have different water regulation effects in different situations. Reasonable deep plowing can break the plow bottom, improve the pore properties of surface soil, and improve the ventilation water permeability and water retention of soil. Tillage can loosen topsoil, improve soil pore properties, increase surface water evaporation resistance, and reduce soil water consumption. Especially timely tillage after rainfall and irrigation can significantly reduce soil water evaporation and improve soil drought resistance. It is a good production measure to keep water and heat in dry farming. All mulching measures are beneficial to reduce the evaporation loss of soil moisture and increase the surface soil moisture content improving soil texture and structure to create good water retaining environment is also one of the effective measures of soil moisture regulation by increasing the application of organic fertilizer planting trees fertilizing and planting grass the water retention capacity of soil can also be improved and the purpose of water regulation can be achieved the regulation of soil water needs to adopt comprehensive measures to ensure high and stable agricultural yield. According to local farmland types, soil characteristics, climate factors, entropy, and other specific conditions. The above is the main content of soil moisture regulation. Thank you.